Some national parks do indeed have severe drug problems. Yellowstone is not one of them. And this week, our series Living with Wolves has explored issues surrounding the controversial predator from a number of angles. We've spoken with ranchers, wildlife officials, and environmental groups. Tonight, the news station's Dan Boy speaks with some non-experts around Bozeman to hear their thoughts on the hunt, the image, and the proper place of wolves. When you hear gray wolf, what are the words that, that come to your head in conjunction with that word? Canada. That's where they came from. It's wilderness and wild places. Freedom, um, real Montana. I've heard him um, out camping, howling, and it just sent chills up my spine. I just, I'm glad they reintroduced him. I wish they hadn't killed him off in the first place. Your opinion on the hunt? I'm against the hunt. Uh, I'm not opposed to removing some problem wolves on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm all for it. I think it's great. I mean, if, if we are going to control them, that's one way to do it. I think that's the most, the easiest way to do that. In the areas where they're killing off ranchers' livestock, something has to be done. And you, what do you do? You put up a sign so the wolves can read it and say, don't go here because, you know, you're not supposed to. I mean, it's crazy. And they'll learn, just like the bison, they'll quickly learn that somebody holding a stick and a hunter is going to be somebody to avoid. So I think it's, I, I'm in favor of hunting. What words come to your mind? Um, I'm a little worried. Came up here since 1987 and enjoyed a large population of elk to elk hunt and enjoy elk hunting a bunch here and I'm seeing my elk hunting be disrupted tremendously. Trying to manage things that were here naturally. If man would have just left it alone a long time ago and not got it out of balance, we wouldn't have this huge problem. You can find a link to the rest of the Living with Wolf series on our website.